Just like with next weather, we want to keep you prepared for the days ahead in a fun way. Each Thursday, we're going to share some weekend events, places for you to check out. Aaron, we'll have you go first. Okay, I'm going to be like a weird little dark cloud here. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. I'm choosing Cupid's Revenge Valentine's Haunted House in Invergrove Heights. This is a Valentine's themed walk and it's all about vampires and an angry cupid out for blood isn't that kind of cute in Different. a weird way it is also only one weekend so if you want to go now is your chance the haunted the haunted house is open tomorrow saturday as well and tickets are 25 dollars. but a great excuse to hold your partner's hand that's you guys. true a guy can be a hero all of a sudden yes, this weekend they can. this was really my way of uh, trying to relive our state fair <laughs> haunted house you guys know i don't like haunted yeah. houses yeah. but i would try this i, mean, I would absolutely try you guys are a little soft but you know me i <laughs> love everything halloween yeah, so i think i need to change my you would be into it yeah for you sure. want to come with me i think i should <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll bring a camera all right no vampires for me my weekend pick is the upstairs circus in downtown minneapolis it's a diy workshop meets bar so you pick a crafting project to work on maybe jewelry decor art kitchen tools then you spend an hour or two building it while enjoying some cocktails. There are projects galore. You do need to make a reservation, but the nice bonus, you can bring your own food. I've actually gone to this twice. Uh, the oh. first thing I made was a, a bottle opener, and when the cap falls, magnets catch it. Oh, so nice. you feel like you're crafty. And then I also made a concrete catch-all to like throw your keys on. Oh. So people do wine and canvas. You yeah, have a yeah. drink and you paint. This one is cocktails and an endless list of yeah. things to and put together. And your buffalo cauliflower wings that you just made. That's bring true. them there. Uh, yeah, you can bring your own food. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I might uh, take some of Aaron's idea yeah. with the vampires, because, you know, I dig the Halloween stuff, mm -hmm. and maybe just go to the After Dark things at Polar Fest <laughs> in Detroit Lakes. Uh, this city knows how to do it. The festival kicks off tomorrow. It runs through the 26th. That's how you do a festival. They have all kinds of activities, day and night. You don't have to be a vampire. But ice fishing, of course, ice golfing, uh, dinners. They've got fireworks shows. That's going to be Saturday night. They'll also do it the following Saturday at Detroit Lakes City Beach. That starts right after sunset. It's going to be a great time for the whole family. And again, we've done WCCO lake trips up in Detroit Lakes several times. And that is a fun, fun place to be. And uh, it's going to be great because they have the snow and everything. So perfect setting. You were nodding your head for ice golfing. You've heard of John it? John Lordson did a Finding Minnesota oh, that's right. about okay. ice golfing, and it looked like a good time. It is fun. A way to take advantage of being able to stand on a lake and then do an activity you're not used to. Yeah. And you could, uh, you could craft and do cocktails, too, while you're golfing. Make it extra <laughs> All fun. the things yeah. up there. The weather is going to be really nice. We talked about this. Look at these temperatures. No matter what you're doing and really across the state, we're talking about highs above average. We're talking about no snow, so you'll be able to get to these events and home from these events without any issues. This is a lot like last weekend, guys. We talk about next weather, the promise to let you know when things get frightful out there. But we also want to tell you when it's going to be nice so you can do these activities exactly. that we were just talking about and enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, we are in that sweet spot of winter. Yeah.